Well, hello there. Don't you look lovely today? Anyway, well, as you can tell by the incredibly bright red screen just to my side here, it's Nintendo Direct Day. Decided I would record it and see if anything interesting catches my eye. If uh, if there's something to extract from all this and I freak out, cool, something to go up on the internet. If so nothing doesn't, ha if nothing happens, this video is lost to the annals of time. But I figured I'd just tell you flat out what my plan is for this. That way, if you are like cutting around and whatnot, or <clears throat> if you're like wondering where's the whole reaction, there's the whole reaction. I'm just gonna cut this up into the parts that are most appealing to myself. So. I will see you in just a minute when the show actually starts. For now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go post memes. <clears throat> Let the games begin. Ugh. A little loud still. There, that's better. I think this is Fire Emblem. This is Fire Emblem. <laughs> uh, okay. I was about to lose it, and then it's like, and then it said Fire Warriors, and now I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm in. You know, because I definitely didn't, you know, 100% the original Fire Emblem Warriors or anything. Nope, definitely didn't do that. I have one friend who is going to curse. He is going to curse super loud. Here's the funny part, though. I never played Three Houses. So is this just going to feature Three Houses characters? Or will there also, or will it also feature um, characters from other franchises, we'll say? You know, never be seen again. the fact that this game finally made its way to Switch, you know, this is kind of, this game I think actually had really had an underdog story of nobody played it because it, it launched in a, in the most broken state possible. And then, and now, and then like two years later, they really, they re-released it, totally fixed. And now it's finally making its way to the last frontier, the Switch, which I'm surprised the Switch can even run this. No way. Oh my god. Yes! Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Actually, yes. It's time it's time to play the goat. Although the team uniforms are a little weird. Hey, Boom Boom's a goalie for a change. Wait, what? Team ups? I'm sorry, team ups. <laughs> My goat? <laughs> My goat? Mario Strikers Battle League. All right. Prepare for strike. Game of the year, right there. Try to score more Although I'm, I'm noticing you're not stuck with like a cap. You're not stuck with a captain, and then there's not. There's no. We're no longer on the on the play of a two captain of a, a captain, and then a random Mario group trope as their. Uh, or random Mario sidekicks as their uh, as their rest of their team. So it looks like you can actually incorporate all captains on a team instead. Ayo? Ayo? In addition to individual matches. Now, nah, okay, this game's gonna be goaded. My Ju, my Ju, my uh, summer is looking a little jam packed. By the way, my summer is looking a little jam packed. Uh, uh, yikes. Oh, this is Splatoon 3. <laughs> so. Yep. Oh, Salmon, Salmon Run is still in the game. Nice. Although, it's probably going to have some weird not actually Salmon Run. It's not, it's not going to be for real Salmon Run. Wait, I'm, re I'm really glad this is still a mode in the game, because, I don't know, Salmon Run just felt really magical.
I'm sorry, what? <laughs> a literal fish stick? Okay, it's creative at least. Oh. Yeah, that's... Well, that definitely encourages teamwork. I'll give it that much at least. Finally! Like you did, that was like the one thing I think was actually missing from the original Salmon Run was just the ability to pass off the key objective stuff. Like we actually really needed that in addition to everything. Can you... Alright, go to... Alright, that's all we needed for that mode. We, we need... If you can score baskets from a distance. Perfect. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, okay. I don't think I need to see that today, but okay. Yo, the boy? Coming to Nintendo Switch. I mean, I mean, it was already on the Wii, but hey, the boy's coming back. Yeah. Oh, this is the dumbest thing to be excited for, but I'm happy. Yo. Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series launches on Nintendo Switch July 8th. That's awesome. Nintendo that's Switch that's sports. I did it Please didn't dawn me for half a minute. That's okay. Play. So All here's right. the thing about I'll this play one. Some volleyball is online, together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? <sighs> yes, of Sorry, course. I lost myself in the train of thought of this. I've got plenty they of really, me as well. This game will probably be All right. Decent, but the only thing I fear and the only thing I hope they match. don't do is charge full price for this. Like, uh, we're doing this? I mean, this is Wii Sports. Uh, this is basically Wii Sports, sport which was an in, which was a packaged in game with the Wii. From the team. So, it's you can like you can charge money for this. That's not what I'm saying. They can charge money for this, but I'm, just because serving. it's somewhat simple, they should not charge full price. That's all I'm going to say. A free update is coming to the Metroid Dread game. All it takes is one hit. Oh. Even from this. I'm sorry? <laughs> the game was even already hard as is. Once causes a... Something's bound for Nintendo Switch. Oh no. They just use bound. Yep. All right. Well, everybody. You now, you, I know you pay for the subscription service. You no longer have an excuse to avoid playing Earthbound. Play Earthbound. Play Earthbound. Oh! And? And Mother One. Huh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I can hear, I can see Twitter already. I can see, I'm not pulling up Twitter, but I can see Twitter already. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, Twitter, stop. Twitter, Twitter, stop. Twitter, Twitter, stop. Stop, stop. We're not getting Mother 3. Stop. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. Yes. So, we've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series and we'll be releasing them as paid downloadable content. Please take a look at this trailer. You know what? DLC, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> These are Mario Kart Tour tracks! Except that's Poojie and Howling. <laughs> I, I hear Co <gasps> It's GBA! Cooking them all, GBA. Okay, hold on. I mean, I like how I'm getting stupid excited for, like, DLC, of course, of course, of, like, you know, a new Mario Kart game. But that's fine, I'll take it. Hey, DLC courses will be coming to Mario some, Kart 8. Like, I can tell, I have not played Mario Kart Tour. I can tell some of this is Mario Kart Tour. ...by the end of 2023. Oh, God. Courses such as Coconut Moth. Well, I mean, I'm getting it because I'm a because I'm a shill, but Chocolate still. Mountain. Chocolate Mountain? Chocolate Mountain? And Tokyo Blur. 
will be included in the first wave. Haha, <laughs> our car tour didn't work out. Well, I know what I'm buying you today. Enjoy this DLC at no additional cost with nope. Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. On nope, its own. you're you're not you listen, unless you fix it or gave me some better incentive, that ain't happening. That's the way of our world. Wait, this is Xenoblade. This is Xenoblade. Oh god, oh no. Oh no. Tell me. What? Sword Master. Yeah, we're looking at Xenoblade Chronicles 3. By a great sword. Okay, it happened. It's the only way you're Xenoblade fans eat it. Yep, there it is. Uh I still haven't played the first two. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! Well that's real soon. Oh, oh no. All right. So I was making notes throughout all this. So here's the thing. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 being in their big unveil, perfectly fine. I mean, the first Xenoblade Chronicles, first two Xenoblade Chronicles games coming back to the Switch did gangbusters. That's amazing. The thing is, out of all of that that we saw today, I was the most excited for the fact that they're bringing back Mario Strikers. For those of you who don't know, Mario Strikers is like the best sports game. Like I love the golf, I love the golf game. I will still play the golf game. Mario Strikers though, top tier. We're talking primo tier stuff. As long as they don't muddy it, well, as long as they don't water it down like they have with Mario Golf and Tennis Aces. Oops. Anyway, they've had a good. Sh there's a good showing of stuff coming up here this year. A pretty good showing. And like I said, Mario Strikers. I'm excited for. Kirby, of course. I'm already on board with most of those like things we knew about. Seeing Klonoa, of all things, had me the most excited because that's like an unsung hero of of like the of like the new of like the old new age 3D 2D platformer. But anyway, I'll see what I can piece together to throw up on the YouTubes. Uh I guess I have nothing. I have no proper outro plan. So thank you all so much for watching, and I got a lot to go through. Damn. Anyway, take care, everybody.